Welcome everyone to Hasbro's Hide. I thought I'd show you a few uh, modifications I've done to my Anneals 2.0. Just got this from Anneals and, and uh, what a great product. Uh, really well thought out. And so I've done a few testing, set up a few uh, pieces of brass to be annealed. And thought of something else I would like to add. Probably the one feature um, that doesn't that's not on this. Uh, as it comes from the factory. So we have a really nice speed control now that uh, you know, controls by percentage or you have other ways of controlling too and it just does really an excellent job. But what I wanted to do was be able to count the numbers of brass that we do because we can fill up this hopper and create a huge uh, amount of brass very fast. It's an amazing feature of this thing. So what I added was a simple a counter and proximity switch that you can get from Amazon for about $15. I'll put a link down below to this video for those that want to do it. I simply mounted it with Velcro to the top, bent the bracket to a, a Z shape here so we can get closer, and um, Velcroed it in the side as well so it can be easily removed and you didn't have to drill or modify your anneals. Uh, I'll show in a picture as well uh, the way I've done it because this is a magnetic or a ferrous proximity switch and you need a magnetic source to trip it which is actually buried inside the wheel at the back and I'll show you a picture I just dremeled out a slot this wheel is solid and dremeled out a slot and put it in there and fastened it in place with a little bit of quick grip, uh, just to keep it from coming out the, the magnet is actually faced perpendicular to this it's a round magnet so the large diameter or flat is facing perpendicular so you can get the most uh, exposure to the magnetic field to that proximity switch. So it has uh, just a little bit of quick grip is all you need. You can in fact probably use tape because the magnetic field sideways to the magnet is very weak and it won't attract to the, uh, to the case. Um, anyway, simple modification and now as you can see we're counting and you have a good idea then when you're done if you set your reset at the right time uh, you'll have an exact count of what you have. You notice here on this is a very simple device. There is an on-off or, or a reset button here. Or excuse me, on-off. Um, yeah, on-off or reset button. And then there's a counter reset here. So you click this and you start your count again. Um, this other switch you could put an automatic re-zeroing. You can actually wire in another switch, but I really haven't found a, a place I'd want to add that. Maybe you guys can, if you put in comments, can add some place where you might think you wanted to have an automatic reset switch. Um, I can't really think of one now just because of the way the system works. Um, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. This is a fantastic machine. Uh, really processes brass well and fast. Uh, I'll probably produce another one, short one because um, I've got the settings roughly um, following some other guidelines on colors and things like that, avoiding oranges and things like that. But I have Temple Act coming, um, which is a, a better way to finally do your temperature for each breast. So when I get that, I'll do another, um, another short video showing that, showing the counter, everything working. But you know, all in all, fifteen dollars, about fifteen minutes of work to install it at most, at most, and uh, just a really simple system. So take care, and thanks. One other thing I did want to point out that I forgot before I ended the last short segment of video is that the proximity switch you might think would get heated from the torch, but in fact I have it just far enough back here that the flame uh, goes by it here. Most of the heat will rise by the time you get from here. Um, but then the wheel actually shields this proximity switch as well. So I ran it uh, for about five, 10 minutes here and, and then shut it off and immediately touched this piece of metal. Now if you do that, be very careful because if you get it wrong, you could be in the heat and get yourself burned. But in fact, it was still cool. Therefore the proximity switch will not be damaged from that. But I thought I'd mention that to you. If you do this, modification be careful to keep it behind the wheel uh, you could even make yourself a little metal shield or something uh, you know to deflect the heat away if it ever became an issue um, but anyway as as it is it seems to be working fine if it's not i'll post another short video thanks